yeah let's uh, look at uh, uh, how a bank estimates uh, its uh, losses and uh, what uh, what kind of capital it sets aside as a part of reserves to typically meet the uh, unexpected loss see basically uh, based on the value of the loans uh, that are being given every bank is uh, computing or supposed to compute the expected loss which has to go in the balance sheet as well as uh, the unexpected loss which need not go as a part of the balance sheet but uh, the bank needs to have a sufficient backup to address that which is nothing but it's a part of the economic capital of the particular bank so the way it is computed from a bank standpoint they are looking at uh, whenever they are talking of expected loss the focus is on the decrease in the value of the asset because of one person or few people defaulting on a loan so whatever is the loss on an average the bank has to compute what is uh, the chance of default what is the chance of default and in case a company or an individual default what is the loss given default loss given default is coming up because of recovery rate probably if 70 percent 80 percent can be recovered from the assets of the person then only 20 percent goes as a loss for the bank so the uh, loss given default and even we are looking at the probability of default what is the chance that this particular company can default again as a part of the credit risk uh, norms of basel they have even uh, classified each kind of borrower like if it is, if it is a public sector uh, company or if it is a private sector firm if it is a corporate they have actually given some kind of uh, numbers associated uh, with the probability of uh, default so you will be computing the probability of default the last given default and what is the exposure how much of loan has been given by the bank to the parties so probably overall if uh, if the bank says 2000 crores of loan has been given so that's the exposure for the bank so 2000 crores of loan given and uh, if i'm expecting that one percent of my uh, collections are probably 2000 crores is expected to be collected this year in the form of interest uh, or principal repayments whatever it is 2000 crores is expected to be collected for this year so if the bank is expecting that one percent of them will be will not be collected will be considered as bad debts so the probability of default is going at one percent and if at all let's say the default occurs if i'm saying 20 percent is not recovered on an average for all those people who have defaulted let's say the bank is the bank is able to collect 80 percent of the 80 percent of the value 20 percent is uh, the loss given default then this is the expected loss for the bank 2000 2000 crores into 1 percent working out to 20 crores into 20 percent working out to 4 crores so 4 crores is what is the expected loss which is nothing but on an average so four crores is typically probably few people it's like one percent means if probably if a hundred people are given a loan i'm expecting around one person will default and uh, on an average the size of that default is to the extent of four crores so from a bank standpoint four crores is something that they are directly expecting as a loss and that four crores has to be represented on the balance sheet as the expected loss which is being put as an adjustment uh, to the receivables uh, amount as a part of the provisions uh, which they are setting for the bad debt uh, kind of an expense then apart see when we are talking of four crores as an expected loss see this is under the assumption that one percent uh, will be the uh, will be the probability of default and only 20 percent of that can be recovered but in case one loss 